we're going to conclude with our uh, week series today on why it's important to read the Bible. And I hope you've been inspired and I hope the desire to spend time in God's word has increased in your heart as you've listened to reasons and benefits that we will experience when we spend time in God's word. And the last reason I want us to look at today why it's important to read the Bible is reading the Bible equips, corrects, and prepares us. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 3, verse 16 to 17, all scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. The 17 says God uses it, the word, to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. Now, isn't it amazing to just think about the power of God's word? It says here that God uses his word to correct us when we are wrong, to show us what the right thing is to do. But then it also says God uses it, his word, to prepare us and to equip us for every good work. Now, you see, because the word of God is so powerful and because God uses his word to equip us and correct us, that means God doesn't use bad things and tragedies to equip and teach us. We can learn from bad experiences and we can learn something from everything. Praise God. Through every experience, we can learn something if we're open and we are yielding to God. But it's so important for us to know that God is not behind bad things. And God's word is powerful enough to equip us in life. That's why God uses his word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit to prepare us, equip us, and to correct us. By saying something like God needs to use sickness to teach us, he's saying his word is not powerful enough to teach and equip us. But you see, God's word is powerful enough. God uses his word. God has faith in his word to get the job done in our hearts and in our lives. And God uses his word and he uses the Holy Spirit to help us, to prepare us for what he has in life and to equip us for every good work. Now, remember, it's also important for us to spend time in his word, because if we don't know his word, we don't know his promises and we don't know the truth of the word, we won't experience the equipping that God wants to do in our hearts, because one of the things God uses to equip us is his written word. So as you read the word, be open for God to speak to you, to show you things. He wants you to experience his life in his word. And he wants to use his word to prepare you and equip you for every good thing that he has for you in your life. So read the Bible, believe the Bible, speak the Bible, apply the Bible. And as you do, you will experience the equipping and, and the preparation that God wants to do in your life. And even when we need correction, God will use his word to correct us like a good father. You see, the Bible says God disciplines us, but he does it through his word. He doesn't do it by giving us tragedies in our lives. God is a good father and he has given us his word and his word is powerful enough to equip us for every good work in life. So read the Bible and your life will never be the same again. You are highly favored and deeply loved.